a devastating swarm of tornadoes ripped through six U.S. states, killing more than 70 people in Kentucky and leaving a trail of destroyed homes and businesses along a path that stretched more than 200 miles, officials said on Saturday. The powerful twisters, which weather forecasters say are unusual in cooler months, demolished a candle factory and the fire and police stations in a small town in Kentucky, tore through a nursing home in neighboring Missouri, and killed at least two workers at an Amazon warehouse in Illinois. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear said the collection of tornadoes was the most destructive in the state's history. He said about 40 workers had been rescued at the candle factory in the city of Mayfield, which had about 110 people inside, when it was reduced to a pile of rubble. The level of devastation is unlike anything that I have ever seen, Beshear said at a press conference. We were pretty sure that we would lose over 50 Kentuckians. I'm now certain that number is north of 70. It may, in fact, end up exceeding 100 before the day is done. Beshear said 189 National Guard personnel have been deployed to assist with the recovery. The rescue efforts will focus in large part on Mayfield, home to some 10,000 people in the southwestern corner of the state, where it converges with Illinois, Missouri, and Arkansas. Video and photos posted on social media showed brick buildings in downtown Mayfield flattened, with parked cars nearly buried under debris. The steeple on the historic Graves County Courthouse was toppled, and the nearby First United Methodist Church partially collapsed. Mayfield Fire Chief Jeremy Creason, whose own station was destroyed, said the candle factory was diminished to a pile of bent metal and steel and machinery, and that responders had to at times crawl over casualties to get to live victims. Paige Tingle said she drove four hours to the site in the hope of finding her 52-year-old mother, Jill Monroe who was working at the factory and was last heard from at 9.30 p.m.